right now you've got these mobile phones and they've got uh, these great displays, but when we're actually trying to collaborate together, right, uh, it's really hard for us to all um, look at the small screen. Mm -hmm. And so we've got these uh, mobile Pico projectors that are coming out, which, and the idea here, right, is that now I can blow up this display. Uh, like on a, on a large surface, and let's mm -hmm. say you and I are trying to coordinate a place for to go to for lunch, right? Yeah. Uh, we can now all see the map that previously was just, we had to kind of crowd around for, right? Yeah. You know, five or six of us can gather around. But now the new issue that comes up is, if you wanted to interact with this map, it's kind of weird for you to reach over and touch my phone, right? Exactly. And so the idea is, you know, what if we could allow users to interact with the display by casting their shadow, right? Everybody knows what shadows mean. You can pan around by a essentially uh, casting different shadows, right? Um, and everybody can cast a shadow. Everybody knows what these different shadows mean, right? So right now you can tell I'm trying to I'm trying to select a particular location. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it sort of allows people to do kind of this collaborative, co-located uh, environment. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is, you know, this is better than current gesture-based interfaces because if you're on the other side of the room and you say, you know, I want to I wanna get more details on that restaurant and you're kind of pointing at the map, yep. I have no idea which one you're actually pointing at, right? Yeah. Uh, so even if you had kind of best-in-class gesture recognition, no, people still don't really know. Um, and so this kind of, ha this sort of gets the best of both worlds. Okay.